Well, hello there. My name is Andrew Michael, and today is a beautiful day here in Northeast Florida, and we are going to tour the Mayport model here in Bartram Ranch. Bartram Ranch, you may ask, is a uh, Toll Brother community here in Northwest St. Johns County. Now, I had two customers reach out to me. They are currently living in New Jersey. They've been watching my videos tired of living up in New Jersey, want to move down here to Florida. So they called me, we had a conversation, and one of the communities they're interested in is Bartram Ranch, and specifically they're interested in this model, the Mayport. So we are going to take a look at the Mayport, and I'm going to take you along with me. Let's go. All right, so here is the model. Now what I'm, I'm going to point out, you've got a one-car garage over here, you've got what will be a two-car garage over there, However, at the moment, it is the sales center, so that's why it's got glass doors, and that's why everything looks the way it does here. But when eventually they sell this home and they get it ready for con uh, someone to move in, there'll be a driveway here, there'll be a driveway over here. So it won't look like it does now. So all right, without further ado, let's go on inside. And by the way, I just walked this home. It is absolutely stunning. So let's go on in. Oh. All right, here you go. So when you walk in, first thing you see is the high ceilings. There you go, so you got a dining area. It's interesting, it looks like a perfectly square table, not the normal rectangle you see. And here, so let's go this way first now. Through that door it would normally be your garage. I'm not gonna go in there because it's currently the sales center. This is what we call a drop zone. So I'm guessing if you live up north, you would probably have like your snow boots or something in there. But here, uh, people put like kids' backpacks, you know, the dog, uh, dog leash and stuff like that. You've got a laundry room. Oh, I'm not gonna show you that corner. It's a pretty cool, looks like a linen looking tile. It's pretty neat. And by the way, Toll Brothers is not a custom builder, but they will personalize your home and they are definitely one of our higher end builders here in this area. So through here, you've got a full bathroom. So this is the one that they're using for the sales agents and such. And you've got a bedroom. Nice thing with this is, is if you had, let's say family members who are elderly, you know, stuff like that, you would, um, you know, they, they don't have to go up and down stairs. So that's nice. So they've got their own little ensuite, which of course could be shared with the company as well. All right, so let's go ahead and walk in the house. A little half bath over here that would be mainly for company. And here you go, here's the living area. So what do you think of the style? Kind of curious, I love the kitchen. It's, it's very modern, it's very interesting. All right, so if we go back through here, it's got like a little, uh, you know, little wine area, cocktails, that sort of thing. And I love the lighting in the cabinets here, that's pretty cool and it leads to your dining area. Oh, and my little book fell out of my pocket. All right, so let's kind of keep going. The granite, I believe it's granite, don't quote me on that one. It's like a, a leather kind of feel to it, it's pretty cool. This is a gas community, by the way, meaning you don't have buried propane tanks, but what you do have is gas piped in. Yes, there's an awesome pool area outside. I will take you there last. So yeah, so here's the kitchen. Now let me ask you this. I see this in the higher end models like this home sometimes, and it's glass cupboards. Would you want that? Because here's the thing. You know, all of my stuff isn't really as beautiful as <laughs> kind of what you're seeing here. So I don't know if I would want all of my stuff on display. Uh, what do you think? Would you want that? I don't know, kind of curious. Oh, something else here that's kind of unique is they have a Kohler pot filler. It's kind of neat. You've got your farmhouse sink. And of course you're looking out to what would be your day-to-day -day dining area probably. Then your living room on the other side. Now over here, I think most people would use this the way it is. You've got, it extends out the kitchen, but it's, they've got it set up as like a coffee bar. So again, as I think how most people would do it here. And then you've got your one car garage. These are doors 
and I'm guessing that's for the uh, site agents uh, for some reason. And then over here you've got, oh, that's where they keep their little pamphlets. But yeah, this is the one car garage. And it already has the, uh, definitely get that when you close on your house. All right. Oh wow, look at that. I'm just gonna show you a quick glimpse outside. Just what a beautiful day it is. Look at that. So what does the weather look like where you are? Is it, uh, yeah. throw it down below. Where are you and what is the weather like today? I am obviously in St. John's, Florida. Weather's probably about 82 degrees. Beautiful like you just saw. That's what it is for me. All right, so let me show you where I am. Okay, so we are now walking into the owner's retreat, otherwise known as the master bedroom. Something they did here I wanna point out so one of the biggest complaints I get from buyers who, with a downstairs master, is they don't want their company, who let's say you're having a pool party, you know, people are out there, they're in here. You don't really want them looking into your bedroom. So this is what they did. You turn around, 90 degree turn, and then a little bit of a hallway to come down. So that's pretty cool. Now there is no door going into the master. However, that's only because it's a model when eventually they get this ready for an actual buyer. Which by the way, you can purchase this model. So if that's something you want to do, reach out to me and I will get you that information. I'll help you with that. Okay, but yeah, so before they uh, close on the home and if you buy a home in here, pretty much anywhere, they will have bedroom doors or doors. And what I'm showing you here is that is a full size king size bed. This owner's retreat is huge. Show you that right there. But yeah, so you've got all the space over here, all the space over there. Bedroom. All right. So here we go. Hey. Tub. It's not very long, but it's really deep. Hmm. There you go. All right, so over here is a, what we call a water closet. What do you call the room where the toilet is where you are? Put that in below. And then, let me ask you this, would you want this? You've got a shower head here, shower head there, shower head here, shower head there. So would you want, now granted it's a very large shower, but would you want a shower with four shower heads? I saw one once in a model tour and it, it actually had side ones coming out from the wall, so it was like a car wash. I thought that would be a bit much, personally, but, but what do you think? I'm curious. All right. Let's take a look now. Oh, wow, this closet's like really nice. So you've got the built-ins. All right. Oh, huh, it's a nice bathrobe. There you go. And then you've got more space over here. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't remember the last time I saw built-ins with glass shelves. I don't know if I'd want that because I tend to break things. But yeah, so it's a really large closet. Very well uh, laid out, lots of uh, organization. So let's go on upstairs. Oh wow, this is cool. All right, so do you remember when we walked in, you can kind of see up here, so that's the front door. And over here, you've got a really nice landing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So let's take a look, see what we got. Okay. Little storage, little AC area. And just a linen closet. And then here we go. That's pretty cool. I know this stuff looks kind of neat, but trust me, if you live in Florida, you're going to want a ceiling fan there. <laughs> so it looks cool, but come summer, you're gonna want a ceiling fan. All right, so this one's got 
a, um, it's got a walk-in closet too, so let me just come over here to the corner, gonna show it to you. There we go. So again, this home would have a door here. Okay, so we got a Jack and Jill bathroom going on. You've got the, uh, right there. Oh, well, a decent sized closet. And oh, something else too. This home has smooth walls. I absolutely love smooth walls. So that is a big thing. But yeah, so this home has that. So that's cool. What do you think? Do you like smooth walls? All right, so we've seen the two bedrooms that are connected by the Jack and Jill. Now we've got... Okay, so here we go. We've got a, uh, oop, sorry about that. There you go. Okay, so now we've got a um, full bathroom too. It's kind of neat. They got like a subway tile all the way up to the roof, or up to the ceiling, excuse me. And you've got, it's kind of cool looking. And of course, this one also has a pretty good size walk-in closet. So what do you think? Would you decorate your home the same as this one? What would you do differently the same? All right, so we have seen the inside portion of the Mayport. This home has an awesome outdoor living area. So let's go check it out. All right, welcome to the outdoor living area at the Mayport. So this is a really interesting design. I don't remember when I've seen this much stuff in one area. So let me show it to you. Okay, first of all, we've got the outdoor area. Now I know it's wide open right now, but from a lifelong native Floridian, allow me to suggest screening that in. But yeah, it's got a great size. You've got your two large fans. You've got a dining area. You've got a, um, the same or similar looking, I'd say similar looking countertops, what you had in the kitchen. Uh, the only thing this one's missing is a grill. Let's see. Yeah, okay, doesn't, oh no, the grill's over there, my bad. Okay, so over here is like your refreshment area, you know, like your fridge or, you know, your sink or whatever. And over here to the right, you have kind of like a, a sitting area. And you've got, this is pretty cool looking. So here's your summer kitchen. Just come right over here. Okay. You could throw some ice in there and uh, you know, condiments, whatever. Beers, probably. So that's your thing. And then you got another fridge over here. That's a, uh, I guess it's an electrical outlet. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's got pretty much everything you need. Then you've got another little step over over here. And you come over to this area. You've got your, uh, it's like a fire pit kind of, run by gas. And then right there you've got a TV. So if you wanted to, uh, you know, grill dinner, have a few beers, something like that. Turn on the fire pit, start from here. So what do you think? What do you think of the Mayport here in Bartram Ranch? Any interest, uh, thoughts, you know, throw a comment down below. Also, you're going to see some more stuff popping up here in a second. In fact, there they are. Uh, one is a playlist with lots of model tours in similar community. And then the other one is our other channel where we go into, um, you know, this channel, all we do is tour beautiful homes that are either for sale, model homes, you know, stuff like that. The other channel, we actually go into like pros and cons, check out the shopping, you know, all the other things that you need to know beyond the home. So if you're interested in that, then definitely check that channel out too. Thanks a lot. My name is Andrew Michael. I appreciate your time and I look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.